at the Spigma convention with a surprise have, episode this one we didn't even get a chance to announce nope. we knew there might be some like last minute additions and we've got a good one <laughs> we do it was it was totally last minute see they didn't even know they were going to be here <laughs> they're getting phone calls right now i see you on the tv is that you That's my wife. <laughs> <laughs> no, we are glad to be here at the Spigma convention at the music city Sheridan, in nashville tennessee and glad you guys are out there watching with us. We do have a surprise guest. Steve Thomas is back here. And the time machine. Well, I was going to get to he that. He brought the rest I, of the time I, machine with us. This him. guy, I've known him for quite a while. I've known actually all these guys in different places. That, they don't know me, but I know them. He's been following them around. <laughs> I've been following peepholes. Really, it's creepy. You'll like it. Later. You ever feel like <laughs> cold chill on the back of your neck? <laughs> But John. we are, yeah, I'm, so, I'm sorry, I, I went too far. But we are glad to have him in here, and I hope you guys are going to love it too. We're going to take a quick little break here and come right back with him. It's going to be Steve Thomas and the Time Machine. Hey, I'm Jason Chapman, and I run a music store with my brothers, John and Jeremy. People are always asking, what is it like to be in a family business? Well, I've been in a band with my family for the last 28 years. And if that wasn't enough, we recently opened a music shop. Since opening the shop, we found that the people that come through the door are just about as unique as the instruments they carry. And now, since they gave us a TV show, we leave the cameras running, and there's always something going on at the shop. Miles from town, 
And every night when the sun goes down, we make the love that makes the world go round. Down in the wild world. Acoustic instrument, the acoustic shop is the place you want to go. The acoustic shop, uh, we've been open about four years now and uh, have been nominated top 100 uh, dealer at NAM Show uh, for two years now. At the acoustic shop, we mainly focus on acoustic music instruments and the accessories that go with them guitars, mandolins, banjos, basses, and accessories and the, the lessons and repairs that go along with those. Uh, something that we've been passionate about for the last uh, 28 years of our lives, playing in a family band growing up, and we opened a all-acoustic music store in uh, Missouri to help fill the needs of people that are more focused on just that niche of the genre. With us having all those years on the road, it's really helped us to find the right instrument for the right person. When somebody calls us or comes into the shop, we can actually talk to them and know exactly what kind of instrument would be the best fit for them. And I think that's just something that we bring that a lot of people can. Started out teaching lessons before we even opened the shop. So that is something that has been a passion of ours for the last 15 years. I believe we've said this is where the pros teach and I truly believe this is where the pros teach. At the Acoustic Shop, this isn't just what we do, this is who we are. So if you're wanting to learn how to play the banjo, the fiddle, the mandolin, guitar, the Acoustic Shop's the place for you. Welcome back. We are here with Steve Thomas and his time machine. You know and with the time, that's a good one. And, and his time his machine. His time machine, yeah, because yeah, Steve, you know, he's got to have a time machine. You know this guy, he's been all over the place. He's like all over time. I don't, what all are, what are you doing right now, Steve? Oh my goodness. Well, trying to pay a few bills. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that's kind of my How life's goal. How many of these goal. guys have you paid? That's what I want to yeah. know. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not bring that up in front of everybody. I'm good for it, boys. I'm good for it. Come on, you know. Now these are the... This is uh, what we're all into right now, and they're all in behind me, and so uh, they, they take whatever I give them. <laughs> They've been very good about it. You didn't have to well, bring that I'm up. I'm sorry. But, I didn't mean to no, start uh, something. That's crazy. Anyway, what I'm into, uh, <laughs> you know. No, but Steve, uh, I've known you for quite a while. You See, I knew you as a fiddle player most of the time. Now you're holding a mandolin. I know you play guitar. You play everything. You've been producing albums. You've been playing on projects. Yeah. So now you got your own band. Yeah. I mean, who else wouldn't want to start a career at 57? <laughs> You know, but, uh, you know, uh, I worked for everybody else, uh, uh, else. I feel like, uh, you know, I've served faithfully as, as it is with a lot of artists and traveled and done all this for 40 years. And me and my wife uh, both together decided, you know, maybe uh, I've got a few songs I've written and a sound that I think would be applicable to the bluegrass and the Americana market and people would enjoy it. And uh, I want to throw it out there and see if people like it, you know. So well, I dig it. I was just listening to it. I think it's really good. Well, and I know thank we talked you. a little bit at IBMA, and I know you're getting yeah. ready to put together this album. And now you've got a single out now, and you're yeah. getting ready to come out with another one. And the album's coming out very shortly, right? Yeah, about six weeks, probably six. Maybe I don't want to push the record company. Maybe five weeks. I know. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, we're working on the art and that and uh, stuff. But uh, the, the album is all mixed. And the, the, all that's turned in, and we've got all our publishing stuff and all that technical stuff done and so we're ready to put out our, our next single the, the, the single that's out now uh, it ain't done it might pop way back up there but it was at number nine this week it went to number five which we felt very strongly about seeing as we kind of came out of nowhere without an album well i think it's and, great uh, so they're playing it and thank you to radio and kyle Contrell and xm and all these people for helping uh, jeff tuttle up at sirius and uh, Michigan, he was the first guy on it, I think. Anyway, all these people have helped. You know how that, yeah. that is. But uh, So we got a new single coming out. That's right. And uh, Which kind of goes with the Time the Machine theme all, all these years. And uh, I like this song because, uh, you know, I've kind of just been below the surface in the business, uh, standing behind uh, in some pretty tall shadows, you know. Uh, a lot of big artists, uh, Kenny Chesney, Brooks and Dunn. I mean, in Bluegrass, I started with Dale McCurry. Played with the Osborne Brothers, and uh, 
You know, I, I met you playing with Marty for a while and, and, and doing stuff all over the place. I mean, you played yeah, with everybody. I played so. with everybody once. <laughs> you know how that goes. But, uh, I didn't get a chance to fire you, so yeah, we're all good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a couple of times, I, uh, you know, uh, that job I told you what you could do with it. Can I have that back? You know, I've had to say that a time or two, but uh, no, it's uh, it's all been uh, a, a fantastic journey, and so we wanted to continue it on with this and. Man, I can't say enough about these guys. They're uh, sounding great. That's Josh Matheny on the Dobro. Yes. He plays on records every day in Nashville, and uh, he he threw in to help me. And thank you, helped help produce the record. J Jason's been with me from the beginning. We started this conversation last year at Spigma, right here. Uh, uh, do you want to do this? I'm in. So, and Chris was right there the same weekend. So he. He, uh, all these guys helped me make the record. Uh, Evan Windsor works with a bunch of people in town, and right now we're not all that busy, but promoters, we want to change that. <laughs> but uh, Evan this is, is this just is the official, uh, official yeah. commercial yeah. for Steve right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all you guys out there, make sure to book Steve right, right. now. Get this band out there. You get know, the time machine it, happening. It, you know, I, I, I'm trying to be somebody, but I'm not above begging. <laughs> uh, <you know. laughs> well, I'm glad you guys did come by, and I'm glad we were able to fit in an extra spot, because it was a surprise. And as soon as you said you wanted to do it, I, the guys told me, and I wasn't in the room at the time, and they said, Steve's wanted to do this. this I said, sure. Sure, let's do it. So I'm glad you were do, able to do it. You guys sound great. So we're going to get them back to do one more song. Well, actually, we're going to get them to do two more songs, but we're going to get one right after this next break. So we will see you guys very shortly. One of the cool things when we opened the shop that we didn't realize would happen was some of the interesting and uh, very unique instruments that would be brought into us. And this one, more of the story behind the guitar, makes it really interesting. But when I first saw it, I thought it was pretty unique because it, it, it is dated 1932. Um, the fellow that brought it in didn't know much of the history on it, so we did a little bit of research and, and Liz kind of looked it up. And, went, and that's when the story got really interesting. It's a cult guitar. <laughs> that is one way of putting it, yes. Well. Some people call it a cult, some people just call it a commune. Either way, it was called House of David, and it was established in 1903 by a guy named Benjamin Purnell. He says he's going to kind of a messiah type. Sort um, of a cult, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> but he was like, all right, guys, let's just bring a bunch of people in. And he was like, listen, we're going to make a cannery, we're going to make a zoo, we're going to make a professional baseball team, and a bunch of really big bands and we're going to present our word of whatever <laughs> <laughs> I like where you're going. <laughs> to uh, to the masses with all of our creative abilities like um, this baseball team was like the baseball's version of the Harlem Globetrotters they could juggle baseballs <laughs> they could juggle um, baseball bats <laughs> And they didn't cut their hair, and they didn't cut their beards. So they had these glorious, 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 glorious <laughs> hair. I mean, these guys brushed their hair, I would say, probably a hundred times before bed. They were, they were like modern-day hipsters, pretty much. Yeah. but <laughs> Except even, could play baseball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the cool thing is, they even had, it was a professional baseball team, so they had baseball cards, and they, they toured and played with some of the top teams out there. Just a very cool, unique story. And a big history. A lot of these instruments, you never get to realize what the history is. This one, we're actually able to get online and do some research. So this is just one of the interesting instruments that we've had in the shop. And definitely the story behind it is more interesting than the instrument, probably. As you can tell, Liz was very enthusiastic about the history of the House of David. And the history of their beards. <laughs> yes, that was the, probably the most exciting part. The story behind this is very interesting. It's just one of those little things that we love about the shop, is getting to hold some of these instruments and learn the history of them. But we have been able to purchase a lot of other cool historic instruments and some very, very neat and unique ones. And we're going to be doing little features on all those throughout the, uh, the seasons here. So check those out.
strings, boys. Y'all ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> been a part of our lives for as long as I can remember. Our goal from the start was to have an outlet where we could feel that passion in others. At the Acoustic Shop, this is not just what we do, it's who we are. Sorry, Steve, I don't know the words to that song. Sometimes you gotta go for it to realize you can't make it. <laughs> it was like, You wait till we try to uh, close caption this episode. <laughs> take, <laughs> take that, Google, you can close caption that. <laughs> anyway. That was a lot of fun, though. It was a lot of fun. This is a great band. Uh, make sure to get out there and check them out um, when they get out this new album. It's coming out. Five weeks if Steve has his way, six to eight otherwise. So um, anyway, we're going to look forward to hearing it. You guys, thank you guys so much for being with us on this episode. Um, I want to thank our big sponsor, Silver Dollar City, who is our lead sponsor for the TV show, as well as these live episodes, yeah. and Thompson, Preston Thompson Guitars, who helps us out so we can do these live and episodes. We're going to have another one at 8 o'clock. We've That's got right. Fast Track at 8 o'clock. Fast Track at 8 o'clock. And then we break down for a little bit, and we'll have the night showcases, which is going to be full performances, That's including right. Chapman's. We're That's right. Do we're a doing a Chapman's, Chapman's reunion. This will probably be the first time we have played together in, like, seven years. This is so, kind of like yeah, American yeah. Chopper, when you get the guys back together and they can talk again. My favorite part about this is we're going to have a fill-in Bill Chapman tonight. If Dad couldn't make it, so Russ Carson is going to fill in. 
He's going to be a cranky old man tonight. It's going to be <laughs> awesome. So check that out. If you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel or our Facebook page, the Acoustic Shop or the Ozark Music Shop page. Or both. Just do, do both. both. Uh, you can do that. We have a live counter that's here right now. If you have not done it, it will actually change as you do it. So like the page and we'll be able to check that out too. Thank you all for being with us and we will be back in a couple, three hours or two yeah. hours, something like that. Anyway, thank you guys for watching.